This video provides a quick overview of the Devo Active Boards feature for visual data analysis and reporting. This feature uses a series of widgets to provide an effortless, interactive way of presenting your data for analysis, which can easily be shared among your peers. Let's see this in closer detail. When we open the Active Boards view, the Active Board you will see is the first one in the list of those available to you, unless you have one marked as default. Open the Active Board Manager to see the list of Active Boards available to you. Here you have various filtering options to narrow down your search. If you have opened several Active Boards, you can move between them using the drop-down menu. Now you have opened an Active Board, let's take a closer look at what you will see in this view. In the middle area, we have the widgets, providing graphs and visuals for data analysis. You can customise the data you see, for example, applying a time range to the data shown or opening the query. Notice we are in View Mode. View Mode allows us to open existing active boards and expand various widgets for your visualisation and analysis process. If we change to Edit Mode, notice we have more options to modify an existing active board and its widgets such as addition, deletion or modification actions. Now let's say we wish to create our own active board. Click the plus icon to create a new one and save the title and description in the dialog that opens. With your new active board created, it's time to add some content. In the top centre, you can see three icons. The first is a gallery of different widget types that you can drag and drop onto your active board. Next, we need to provide data to the widget using the data icon. Along with Devo data sources, you can write a custom query or use recently used and favorite queries to feed your widgets. Dragging a query directly into the middle pane automatically appears as a table widget. Finally, we have the Inputs options, to apply filters and modifications to the data shown in a widget. Use Inputs to insert text fields and Selectors for drop-down menus. Once we have added all the desired widgets and data, we can apply further specifications to the data shown on the Active Board. Open the settings of the widget using Edit, for access to the data settings and visual configuration of your widgets. You can modify the widget data, such as the name, description, query, and date range, and you can specify visual settings, such as the data to show in widgets and the general look and feel. You can drag the widgets around to modify their layout in the active board. For more active board settings, click the ellipsis to see addition and deletion options. Once you have completed the active board, click Share Active Board to share them with other roles in the domain. Alternatively, you can manage the access level of each role using the Share to Role functionality. As we have seen, the Active Boards area provides a plethora of tools to aid your visual data analysis. See the description below for specific videos on Active Board functionalities in more detail. Thank you for watching this video. Visit us online to keep up to date with the latest content.